This multi-million dollar property has six bedrooms and five bathrooms, and it's located in King City, Ontario. Let's go take a look inside. foyer it's absolutely stunning there's beautiful light fixtures this mirror and bench situation is the perfect thing i think for putting your shoes on and trying to leave your house there's also a full security camera with very convenient and easy to see what's going on around on your property the entryway is really really nice too it's it's cozy but it's also very open because of the high ceilings so i think it kind of hits both things that you might be looking for it's very home and quaint but it's also luxurious. Over here is one of the sort of main living rooms, I guess you could call it. You can really make this, I think, whatever you want. You could totally have a television above the fireplace and make it a like TV room to hang out with your family. Uh, you could definitely make this an office if you wanted to. There's, I think, a lot of different options that you can really do with this room. It's nice that it's separate and sort of you know, not closed off, but kind of. It's its own separate room. So I think you can really make it whatever works for you in your house and your family. I really want to talk about this wall over here because I don't know what this is called, but it's so, so nice. I love the texture that this wall gives off. And then of course the super high baseboards are nice. And I love that all the outlets are in the baseboard. They're not ugly in the wall, you know, in the middle of your of your eyesight. They're hidden away, blended in at the bottom of the baseboard because it's just like more aesthetically pleasing, I think. These floors are stunning as well and very practical for the front door. They look like they would be almost like an oversized marble or some form of tile. A really, really nice sort of luxe touch for the front door and the front entryway. Then over here, oh, you wouldn't even need to make that an office because this is the office. <laughs> and uh, this is perfect because the door can close so you can have you know privacy and quiet. It's also a really nice size. There's a beautiful window too. Also, if you're a content creator, you would totally make this a content room. These ceilings are like stunning. I think they're technically coffered ceilings. They're definitely oversized and very, very, again, luxurious. Check out how nice these ceilings are. They're so beautiful. Okay, so over here we have the main power room and it's, I don't think it gets much better than this to be honest with you. It's so simple and to the point. It's everything that you need, but I love how high the ceilings are because it just makes it feel that much more grand and beautiful. That foyer tile has been brought into here as well which uh, works perfectly. Boye needs a closet and thank God that this is a nice huge double door closet because front hall closets are never big enough. And this one is amazing because not only is it like a three tiered hanging situation, you can have like shorter coats, shorter coats and then longer coats, but then look at all this amazing shelf space, extra shelving over here. And then you can even store stuff all the way up there, like seasonal things that you don't wear all the time. This closet is like, so key for a front entryway. So here is the formal dining room and it's really nice because it's like right in the middle of the house. It's not secluded away a lot of the times like I feel like dining rooms are. And it's really nice that there's also a fireplace in it which can be very, very nice and cozy. The galley kitchen of dreams. This is such an underrated thing in houses. It's like a full blown galley kitchen. You have extra storage up here sink, wine fridge. This is what pantry dreams are made of as well. You can put all your appliances up here and uh, like your mixer, all of your stuff, everything can be hidden away very, very nicely. And then I love how the storage just goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's like unlimited things that you can put in here. Okay, so this is the stunning kitchen. I love how nice and like bright and white it is. The countertops are amazing. This overflow island is beautiful. I love this style, how it just continues. And it's called the waterfall island. Obviously a huge stove and oven is very, very necessary. The cupboard space is amazing. There's so much storage, which 
everyone needs in their kitchen and nobody has enough of. <laughs> so this is the main living room. This is obviously where most of the hanging out happens with your family. This is obviously really, really big. What's really nice is sometimes in big homes, the living space, the kitchen, and the dining area seem really separate because it is so big. And that's really not the case right now at all. It flows really nicely together while still being big enough to have tons of people over and your whole family. Okay, so over here you have another bathroom, which is super convenient because then the powder room can kind of stay clean and for guests. And then this is more of like the main floor bathroom that you would be using as... Ooh, sorry, I'm just very distracted because this wall is very, very nice. It's almost, I don't know if it's a wallpaper or like just like a texture sort of like sticker, but it's really, really interesting. This is a really big, spacious sort of main floor bathroom, which I find a lot of times are really small and it's the one that gets probably used almost the most. Over here we have the laundry room and sort of mud room combination. So this is another sort of like laundry room of dreams. The uh, granite or marble, whatever these townhouses are, are perfect. And you have a massive oversized washer dryer, beautiful sink, which is often skipped over in a lot of laundry rooms. And then you have this like nice little nook here with like shelving, hooks for your coats, and like a place to sit down and put your shoes on. And then a huge additional closet, which is so necessary, identical to the one at the front. And also it's just nice and wide in here. Like I hate laundry rooms that you walk into and it's like so skinny, you're so crammed. That doesn't make any sense because again, this is one of the most used spaces. Oh, this is the basement. All right, we're going upstairs. This is such a key, extra living room, living space. You could totally use this for, again, literally anything that you wanted. If you have kids, you could make this their designated like gaming room or sort of like hanging out area. You can make this a really nice sort of chic cocktail area like they're, that we're gonna set up right now. So nice to have this available because a lot of upstairs don't have this extra room. All right, so this is bedroom number one. It's really nice and spacious. Again, we have these huge double-decker closets. And I just can't say enough about these closets. They're so big and practical and allows you to fit so many things. Nice light in here as well, even with just the one window. And you could easily fit any type of bed that you wanted in here. I think this is probably like a queen, but um, you could definitely do a king in here for sure, I think. Over here is the washroom. It's shared with the next door bedroom, but I love this so much. So we have like vanity, mirror, getting ready area, and then we have separate toilet and shower in here, which is really nice because in a shared bathroom, it's truly able to be shared. Somebody could be showering here with the door closed, someone else can be getting ready. You don't have to like physically both be in the same bathroom at the same time. And then this is the next bedroom in here. Really nice size as well. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. Again, you could fit any type of bed that you wanted, really. And then I feel as if, same idea, huge, huge closets, but you have actually two of them. So moving on to the other bedrooms. We're just walking down over here. Oh, this is like another additional linen closet. And there was also one over there too. So there's like so much. I love storage. And in houses these days, there isn't enough. I think this is the master. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the master bedroom. It's a beautiful size. I usually need like so much space, in my opinion, in a master bedroom because you'll probably have a master closet and a master bathroom as well. That's personally for me, that's where I want my space. For my bedroom, I'm just sleeping in it, so I don't really care too, too much. But this is a fantastic size. I love the fireplace and the TV. It's a really nice add-on. So you can really have a bed here where it is, or you can have it over there facing the fireplace. And then you have a little bit of a, a look out to the backyard to get some nice air and a fresh breeze. 
and uh, beautiful lighting in this bedroom. Okay, so just as I mentioned earlier, this is the master closet and this is where the, the space should be spent, in my opinion. <laughs> Super high ceilings, the, the storage is endless and that's really what matters. I think to a lot of people there's a lot of hanging space, different levels of hanging space, different shelves, and there's this beautiful pocket door as well, which is super nice. My nails can't even open it though. Oh, there we go. We're also standing in a little bit of a cool foyer for like the master suite. It's very, very classy, I think. So this is the master bathroom. It's a fantastic size. There's a beautiful shower, bathtub, huge, huge vanity. I love this sort of middle thing too because I would totally make this like a hair station and put my straightener and my blow dryer and all that. And, and, thank God there's more than one outlet. I can't tell you how many bathrooms I've been in, there's one outlet. Like who is using one outlet? There's one, two, three, four, just on the vanity side. So that's so important. And then if you continue on over here, oh, you have like just a private toilet quarters, I guess you could call it. And this is obviously a smart toilet. I don't know how it works, but I'm sure you just wave your hand and the seat opens. Yeah, this is a really, really beautiful space. Love the uh, granite or marble countertops, whatever these are. All right, now we're moving on to the sort of last part of the upstairs. This is another one of the bedrooms. It's extremely, it's pretty much the same as everything else you've been seeing, but again, fantastic size. Ooh, look at the shower. We've got a separate sink and then a separate toilet area as well. Ooh, and this bedroom has a walk-in closet instead of the double ones that we were seeing. So this is a great like teenager room, I think for sure. All right, and this is the last bedroom. Again, beautiful size. They're all like different size, but this is okay. They're still very, very big and spacious. Over here, we've got another walk-in closet in this bedroom. Very nice setup too. So shelving and like hanging space, like a triple hanging area. And then all of these bedrooms have their own bathroom. It's amazing. And this one's nice and big too. All right, so let's quickly check out the backyard. So look how beautiful this space is. It's nice and wide as opposed to deep. Obviously they already have the outdoor like kitchen and living experience figured out. You could totally add a pool if you wanted to. It's nice too, you don't have any neighbors like really looking in. This is obviously a ravine. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Again, use of space and a beautiful backyard. All right, so that's the property. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to especially thank Igor Pastor, the real estate broker, who let us come in here and take this amazing tour. All of his information is going to be listed below in the comments, so you guys can go check out what he does. Please subscribe to our channel to see what property we're going to end up in next.